Next on Auto Show TV, we visit Sarones in South Attleboro, Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield, Franklin Ford in Franklin, Mass., Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, and Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV. This morning, I'm John Coletto. We're here today visiting at Cerrone's new showroom, Cerrone Chevy Buick GMC on Route 1 in South Attleboro. Al Cerrone's gonna join us. We'll get the tour in just a few minutes. But first, we start off at Elmwood Auto Group. You know, nobody likes getting that notice that your car has to go in for a recall. Yes, you have to bring your vehicle in, get it fixed, but most of the time, it's a safety issue, and that's important. Here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, they want you to take recalls seriously. The first thing we want everyone to know is a recall is important. It's a safety issue with the vehicle and it should be addressed immediately. Here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, we are what we call recall ready. Um, we have trained technicians. We have trained advisor with the knowledge and background to assist in your every question to do with the recall on your product. Um, we are here for our customers as well as customers from other dealerships, other Chrysler dealerships who have recalls on their vehicles. The fact is every auto manufacturer has to issue a recall from time to time. Don't ignore it. It's important to take action. When you call us, we will assist you in verifying the recall and the repair to your vehicle. If you get a recall notice, here's what we want you to do. We want you to call us. We take the time to outline what the recall is and why it was issued. It's important not to use third-party sources like the media. If you have an older vehicle or bought it used, the manufacturer might not be up to date with you as the current owner, so you may not receive that recall notice. If you have a pre-owned car um, and you've never been to a Chrysler dealership, all we have to do is you give us a call, we need the last eight of the VIN number, which is your vehicle identification number, and we're able to log on to our database and check uh, the recalls that are open, that haven't been completed, as well as recalls that have been completed. So we have a full history on recalls on your vehicle if it applies to them. Another thing to note, there are recalls and there are customer satisfaction notifications. Our recall safety, it's important. It needs to be uh, addressed immediately. A customer satisfaction uh, notice is a quality related issue, um, anything that will make your vehicle, vehicle perform better. And part of Elmwood's commitment to being recall ready means having the parts to do the job. Sometimes recalls are in interim, which means that Chrysler knows that there's a problem with your vehicle, Chrysler knows that there is a recall, but they don't have the fix for it yet. They notify you first to tell you that you do have a recall on your car, but to look out for a follow-up recall notice in the mail when the parts become available. At that time, you call us, we check the availability, we schedule you, you come in. When you do have a vehicle with a recall that's in Terram, it is safe to drive. If your vehicle was deemed unsafe to drive, Chrysler would tell you. They'd let you know that you should not drive your vehicle, which in uh, a lot of cases with recalls, the car's still safe to drive. And don't forget, getting the most out of your vehicle includes routine and scheduled maintenance. Elmwood's Outstanding Service Department features the Mopar Express Lane for fast oil changes and more. As for recalls, it's always smart to be proactive. If you are ever under the assumption that you might have a recall on your vehicle, there are several ways that you can find out. Other than calling your local dealership, um, you can also log on to recall.mopar.com. There, there's a wide variety of recall information. You can recall search by VIN. There's also a quick video and live chat that allows uh, customers to access recall details. There's also Mopar owner uh, mobile app. Um, you download into your phone. It provides fast access to vehicle information, including service information and recalls on the go. Um, you can also log on to MoparOwnerConnect.com. Uh, in addition to recall information, they also have a scheduled maintenance plan. So if you don't have a recall but you want to know what to do at your 30,000 mile service, you go from there. Um, finally, the most important one, you can log on to NHTSA.gov. That's NHTSA.gov, that's N-H-T-S-A.gov. From there, it follows recalls from all manufacturers. So if you drive a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram, think Elmwood. 
here at Elmwood Auto Group, we are recall ready. We're concerned about your safety. We have the staff, the availability, and the knowledge to get your car back on the road, uh, to get you safe. Um, so contact us and um, we'll take care of you. If you're looking to buy a new Ford car, truck, or SUV, the ginormous Ford dealerships in the area might not give you the best experience or the best price. You may want to start here at Franklin Ford in nearby Franklin, Mass. It's not the biggest, it's not the smallest. Choosing Franklin Ford may be just right to get a great deal and to be well taken care of after the sale. Well, one of the things that sets Franklin Ford apart is that it's a family owned and operated business. It has a family feel to it. There's a family member on site every single day. And sometimes all three of us, my older brother and my younger sister, are here at the same time. So it's a different feel than one of the larger dealerships that may be run by a corporate organization or a team from out of state or something like that. This customer experience to us is a, is a core foundation of our principle here, what we talk to our sales consultants and really everybody in the, in the whole company. We want the customer to feel important when they walk through the door, um, more importantly when they leave in their new vehicle because that's truly when the relationship starts. Um, you know, if you've been to some other stores in the area and then you come to us, um, the personal touch that you may get at other stores is going to be somebody opening your door when you pull in, um, which is what we've found people don't want now. The Madden family has owned Franklin Ford since 2002. And yes, they strive for superb customer service, but car shoppers still want a great deal. Oh sure, it's always about price in the car business, and I think that's an important factor. But we purchase our cars from Ford Motor Company the same as the large dealerships do. And what sets us apart is the uniqueness of a competitive price with a hometown feel. And as we say in our advertising, we offer big city deals with a hometown feel. We really can be competitive with other stores. Um, I'll never lose a deal to price. Um, and oftentimes um, it doesn't even come down to price here. Franklin Ford has a great selection of new and pre-owned Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. And if they don't have exactly what you want, they'll get it for you, from Maine to Virginia in just a day or two. And at Franklin Ford, taking care of their customers after the sale is important as well. We really rely upon an excellent service department here. We just spent over a million dollars renovating the dealership and building an uh, environmentally controlled drive through uh, to offer the customers a better experience, an upgraded uh, waiting area as well. The service department is very important. We have uh, all master certified techs. I've been here 19 years. Most of the technicians have been here minimum of probably 15 years, of, if not longer. Uh, same thing with the advisors. They've been here for many, many years. Eddie, the service manager, has been here for 12 years. So uh, it's a great place to have your service, service work done. We also, through Ford, uh, they give you a two-year unlimited uh, repairs, which most places you get a 90-day. So a lot of customers aren't uh, aware of that, but we give a two years unlimited mileage on repair work. Uh, we also now have lifetime guarantee on brakes, which we never had before. Uh, we're very competitive with brakes, batteries, and tires. That's Ford's biggest thing right now. We also have what they call an interview here where the technician takes the vehicle in, he checks it all over, we give a free multi-point inspection. It also gets a free uh, alignment check, which is a hunter piece of equipment, and we're here for customer satisfaction, that's what we do. Another thing that sets Franklin Ford apart is its commitment to the environment. Just about a year ago, we, we partnered with a company and put 512 solar panels on the roof of this building which has made a huge impact uh, on the green environment here in Franklin, as well as totally reduce our carbon uh, to a negligible level. So if you live in Rhode Island and looking at Ford, consider Franklin Ford. It's closer than you may think. I'm from Rhode Island, I've lived there most of my life, so I understand the mentality. Um, to leave the state to, to do anything is, is like going on vacation. Um, but what they don't realize is that anybody that's north of Providence, I'm probably closer to you. Um, than the other stores in Rhode Island. Um, so there is a third option to you um, that's, that's, even though maybe out of state, um, is absolutely closer and oftentimes um, a better experience and a lower price. It is very convenient. It is directly off 495. And although we draw very heavily from Massachusetts in the Metro West area, we're right on the border of Rhode Island here, just 10 minutes from Woonsocket. And we find that we get quite a few customers this side of Providence in that area of Rhode Island here at Franklin Ford. And we often think that if you live in Rhode Island, the best place to buy a new Ford may be right here in Franklin.
at Franklin Ford. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Hey, I thought we were going to the dog park. Nah, this is going to be way more fun. So many choices, so many choices. I can see everything. Nobody beats Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive. I'm all about the value. I like the top-rated safety. Look at all the room back here. Yeah, we sure need it with the way mom shops. Hey, you're right. These people at Anchor are great. Can I come back when you get service, Mom? Anchor Subaru loves pets, and pets love Anchor. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. We're back on Auto Show TV and we're standing in front of the new Cerrone showroom on Route 1 in South Attleboro with Al Cerrone. Al, you finally moved in. Finally, that's the word. Now I gotta say that when our customers come to the old showroom, which they're used to going to for 40 years, right? when you see the empty lot, don't panic. We didn't go away, just turn around. We're right across the street and that's what you will see, the brand new showroom. Well, Al, you ready to give us a tour? Let's go in and take a look. So John, here we are in the Buick GMC side of the show. And of course, GM wants us to do this because they are different brands as opposed to the Chevrolet. Right. So right now, we're focusing on the GMC inventory. We've got the trucks in here. But it's all about the customer experience. And I think, as they always say, picture's worth a thousand words. When the customers walk in, it's beautifully lit, it's neat, it's clean, it's got all the, you know, the conveniences for the customers, great facilities, the workstations for the salespeople are totally up to date. And of course, the way we can showcase these vehicles, right. the lighting, the presentation, you know, it's all about the presentation. Mm -hmm. The building across the street served its purpose for many, many years, but it's got to be good to be over here. Oh, it really is. And, and being over there, now when I go into the old building makes me realize how old it really was. So we needed this. So now as we head toward winter, I can see the GMC wants to really start to promote the pickups and the crossovers and the SUVs. This is that time of year. Oh, it is. John, it's four-wheel drive season. So we can start out with the GMC Canyon, which is their new smaller pickup, smaller than the full-size Sierra pickup, which is a great truck. Yeah. We have those in the showroom. And speaking of crossovers, they do such a great job with crossovers. Yeah. The GMC Acadia seats up to eight people. And of course, all wheel drive. And for the smaller SUV, which is really dominating the market now, the GMC Terrain. The Chevy side, it's the same size. But on the Chevy side, we've got a few surprises in the showroom, right? But that's where we have our business offices. Of course, we have other workstations there. But when you look around, we've got an antique Chevrolet there. We've got a brand new Corvette there. We've got a little Chevy Cruze there. And of course, we have Silverado trucks. And when you walk down the hallway, you've got that beautiful customer lounge with that giant TV and snacks and water and coffee and of course, our big fish tank. And the service department is right there. So in, in case of bad weather, customers don't ever have to leave the building. Right, and it's so nice to have sales and service in the same building, same side of the street. It really is. You know, that walking across the street after a while, it got a little old. Yeah. And you've got a much bigger lot. You can carry so many more vehicles in, we in do. inventory. We do. And you know, that ultimately is so much better for the customer because, you know, when people look at it, they say, oh, you spent all that money on a showroom, our car is like more expensive. No, they're not. Now we have a lot more room. We can inventory more cars and trucks, and we know how hot trucks are. 
right now. And when you have more and you sell more, that means you can bring the price down. So it actually works in the customer's benefit. And of course, you're still selling a lot of pre-owned and programmed vehicles. We do. Of course, we always have plenty of used vehicles, just regular used cars. But program has always been our specialty. And these are very lightly used current model year. Like right now, we've got the 2015 Chevy Cruises on sale, low mileage for $14,900. And this is a great deal. This is a car that was $21,000 and we're selling them now $14,900. Kind of like trying to kick off this whole brand new thing and that's a special. Yep. John, I gotta tell you, I love pickup trucks. And Chevy builds a good one. I know you do. We're sitting on a Colorado and this is a big award winner. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, all the Chevy trucks are award winners. They've earned three top awards. But the only way you'll know why is to come in and drive one. All right, come down here and see the beautiful new Cerrone showroom. Car, truck, SUV, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, all right here at the new beautiful Cerrone showroom. How about that? Come to Cerrone's and you'll be glad you did. When Auto Show TV wants to spotlight Toyota, we always turn to our friends at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield for their expertise. We usually talk about new Toyotas, but today we discuss their outstanding pre-owned business. General Manager Dave Donfro and Dave, let's talk about pre-owned, big part of the business here at Colonial Toyota. And I know, and our viewers know this, I think too, it's not just about price when it comes to a pre-owned vehicle, it's the condition. I think you're right, John, and I think what a, what a lot of people don't see is actually what goes on behind the scenes to either get these cars retail ready on the front lines or to the auction. Um, almost 50% of the cars that we take in trade here at Colonial never make it as a retail sale. Um, they go to auction because they don't meet our inspection criteria. Um, every used vehicle goes through a 160 point uh, in inspection and it's a pass or fail. There's no gray area. It either meets our standards or it goes to auction. And so we're forced at that point as a dealer to, to acquire used cars from different venues, uh, be it Toyota online auctions, um, other auctions, and we also buy cars through the internet all over the country on a daily basis. I'll take you behind the scenes and show you exactly how we price our cars with the power of the internet and this great internet software pricing tool that we have. So for this example, we're gonna take a 2011 Toyota Highlander that's been through our service department. Uh, we put tires and brakes, cabin air filter, uh, an alignment, spent the better part of $2,000 to make this vehicle road ready. We'll start by first looking at the vehicle history. Uh, this is auto check, very similar to Carfax. And you'll notice this is a two owner vehicle and there are no accidents and no title issues with the vehicle. Once we've established that, we can go back and look at our pricing. This is NADA, it's a uh, retail pricing guide for vehicles, and you'll notice here that this Highlander has a retail value of $24,375. From that point, we will go to our pricing tool, and if I click here, this will show all 2011 Toyota Highlanders in a 250 mile radius that are for sale currently in the market. Over to the left, you'll see the retail pricing, and to the right at the bottom, you will notice the mileage. And in this case, we're gonna offer our vehicle for $20,588. And what that shows here is, with the mileage and the pricing, that we are the lowest price in the market. So when you're shopping online for a 2011 Toyota Highlander and you're looking for lowest price, our vehicle will come up first. So Dave, can you also use this tool to determine the price of somebody's trade-in? Let's say I'm gonna trade in a car. We absolutely use this tool for trade-ins as well. Let's take a, let's take a look, I'll show you again. So uh, your trade-in is a 2012 Hyundai Tucson. Okay. Uh, GLS Sport Utility. Nice. And uh, we've entered your vehicle in here and we're gonna make sure that you didn't have any accidents with it. All right, so that looks good according to AutoCheck. So uh, we're gonna rely on our friends over at Kelly Blue Book um, to establish a value for your trade. And they're pretty good. They, uh, they have four different uh, conditions of vehicle. And in this case, your vehicle is in excellent condition. And Kelly Blue Book says your vehicle is worth $12,068. There's an odometer adjustment ad. You had a couple of extra options. We're gonna give you credit for that as well. And that will bring your total trade-in value to $12,955. Very transparent, very upfront, and that's how we like to do business. Like we always say, if you're buying pre-owned, it's all about the vehicle's condition. What are you really buying? 
customers want some extra peace of mind and they get it from Colonial Toyota. Every pre-owned vehicle we get, we put it into the shop and we bring it in and we do what's called the used car inspection. It's a 160 point inspection and we go through each and everything. We're checking suspension, we're checking brakes, we're checking fluids, filters, anything you can imagine. And we don't just want to do safety inspections. We want to make sure that the vehicle's absolutely perfect. Another thing we do here at Colonial Toyota is after you purchase a pre-owned vehicle, we have a customer loyalty program where when you come in for your, for your first service, you get your first oil change free, you get your fifth oil change free. And Colonial adds nitrogen to the tires of all its pre-owned vehicles. The molecules of the nitrogen are much larger than oxygen, less likely to leak out of the tire, and more stable. It's good for the driver because better handling, safety, and fuel economy. We also put the nitrogen in the tires, which enters you into the Nitrogen Auto Club. There are a lot of benefits to being in the Nitrogen Auto Club. There's replacement coverage and tire repair coverage. There's free towing if you get stuck on the side of the road. Well, Dave, thanks for letting us kind of peek behind the curtain at Colonial Toyota to see how you deal with the pre-owned part of the business, which is so important. John, thanks for having us today. I hope you found this informative. Um, we have a great selection of new cars. We have a great selection of used cars. And if you're in the market for a vehicle, you should really come give Colonial Toyota a try. You'll like the way we do business. We're here at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield to talk about the 2016 Outback and the 2016 Forester. Mike Hersey is with us from Anchor Subaru. Is it fair to say that people who are looking at the Outback, I'm sure probably comparing to the Forester and vice versa? Oh, absolutely, yeah. The, these, these cars have been sisters of each other since the, the late 90s now, and that's been the question asked. Which one do I get? Uh, Outback definitely geared more towards entry-level luxury, I'd say. Uh, it's also a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the Forester. Forrester wins on height. If you need the extra headroom, this would definitely be the one. Also geared more towards the sport utility side. Um, not trimmed as nicely as the Outback possibly could be. How about ground clearance? Oh, ground clearance, exactly the same between the two. 8.7 inches on both of them, but you feel like you sit a little bit higher in the Forrester uh, compared to the Outback. The Outback's more of a wagon. You feel like you sit in it and everything's kind of around you. Tires? Oh, tires are practically the same, uh, 17 inches on both until you get to the upper trim levels, you can get 18 inches on both. Mike, one of the big differences I see right here between the Forester and the Outback, the roof rails. Absolutely, both come with roof rails. Uh, difference being on the, on the Outback here, it actually contains your crossbars all the time. It's completely standard on every single trim level. All you have to do, lift up on the handle and just drop it in place. And that's it. They tuck back into the roof rails just to get better fuel economy. Yep, and there's some extra positioning, two options, right? Absolutely, up there. this rear bar actually moves back about six inches for, for heavier cargo, and there's four 150-pound tie-downs up top, just so you don't have to wrap string all the way around the car anymore. Can you get crossbars on the Forester? Oh, absolutely. It is an extra accessory. You can either get them through Subaru or through an aftermarket. Mike, let's talk about cargo capacity and storage in both the Outback and the Forester. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They're both extremely similar. Again, this being more of a crossover wagon, the Forester being more of a crossover SUV. Uh, they both have just under 35 feet of cargo capacity with the seats up in the back, um, with the seats folded down in both about 75 feet. They're within tenths of an inch of each other. Both can come with this privacy screen for, for your luggage so nobody can look in through your window and see what you have. Both can come with this nice rubberized mat just to contain any kinds of spills or anything. Uh, like I said, both seats fold flat. It's a 60-40 split on both sides and both can actually recline as well. And power liftgate. Power liftgate, absolutely, yeah. That's uh, standard on the Limited. You can get it as an option on the Forester. You can operate it with the remote and it does have a height, a height memory so you don't end up whacking your garage if you, if you park inside. Sure. And both come with the, the rear camera as well that's standard on every single Subaru now. Mike, let's talk about the engines. I see both vehicles have the 2.5 liter four cylinder. Is that what comes standard? Yes, yeah, on, on both of these. The Outback can get up to a six cylinder with 256 horsepower. Uh, the Forester can get a four cylinder turbo. Definitely, again, geared more towards the enthusiast. So you get a turbo option here, a six cylinder option there. Absolutely. How about towing? Oh, good question. Actually, the Outback can tow up to 3,000 pounds with that six cylinder. Uh, the Forester up to 1,500. Mike, let's talk the good stuff. Safety and technology, Absolutely. Subaru, you know, there's a, there's a long list. Absolutely, my favorite stuff. Uh, th these two, along with the rest of Subaru's lineup, of course, top safety picks, five-star crash safety ratings from the IIHS. Uh, this Outback happens to have uh, Subaru's latest and greatest uh, safety achievement, the eyesight system. Yep. Uh, four pillars being pre-collision throttle management, pre-collision braking, 
uh, adaptive cruise control, and lane sway warning. Uh, this being the Generation 2 EyeSight that you cannot get in the Forester just yet, also has lane keep assist. If you're falling asleep at the wheel on the highway, it'll actually pull you back into your lane. Very strange to use, uh, but very effective. A lot of technology to keep you out of an accident. If you get in an accident, of course, the safety in, in terms of the integrity of the passenger exactly. compartment, yeah. right? Tons of active and, and passive safety features. Uh, both have Subaru's ring reinforced frame, uh, where if you get in a side collision, it transfers that energy into the rings where they're supposed to be. If you get in a front end collision, the engine will dive underneath the car, the drive shaft is meant to break in half, uh, the pedals go up into the dash, the steering wheel goes off to the side, all these things working together to make sure nothing hits you at the end of the day. Mike, this is good stuff, but I'm sure some of our viewers are still like, I still can't decide which one, what do you say? That, that, that is the age old question. I've owned both. There's a reason Super still makes both of these, despite of how similar they are. Uh, you, you can look up reviews all day. You have to come and try them. You, you have to. It's that last 5% that's all about personal feel. Here at Anchor Super. Here at Anchor Super, we have the best selection around. We've been doing this for 20 years. We're a family owned dealership. We have a lifetime warranty on our vehicles. I can't think of a reason not to. Come on down. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Here at the Smithfield Tire Pros with Jim Melvin, as always. Winter is looming. Yes, it is. With a capital L. We're into November now, so let's talk tires and getting your car set for winter. All season tires versus winter tires. Explain the differences. John, years ago, a winter tire would be a very rugged, very nasty looking aggressive tire. The problem being, if you put that type of tire on most of today's modern vehicles, the only condition I would be able to describe it as driving would be abysmal. So what most of these tire manufacturers do is they alter the compounding of the rubber. So it's not so much an aggressive tread design that performs the function in the snow, but it is just a much softer rubber compound. An example of that is, let's say we don't even have snow on the ground. Once the temperatures get below 35 degrees, that silica in the different rubber compound will give much better traction, much better braking distances, even in like black ice situation. So yes, there is a substantial difference. They used to call them snow tires. They now call them winter tires because even when there's no snow on the ground, performance of your car, the difference between that and all season tires is substantial. What about some other winter tips now? Some of the big things, wiper blades, getting ready for the snow, make sure your wiper blades are in good shape. The obvious things like battery, you could always swing by any of our locations, let us load and test your battery just to make sure on those real cold mornings when you turn the key and you need to get to work, that car starts. Right. Check your coolant, make sure the antifreeze is in good shape. Make sure air pressure, which is a big thing in cold weather, and your tires is in good shape. You could certainly feel free to swing into any of the Tire Pros locations. We check those on a complimentary basis six days a week. All right, get your car ready for winter here at Tire Pros. Where buying tires and having your car serviced for winter is never a hassle. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.